Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here bringing you guys some more Pokemon TCGO. And honestly, let me just go ahead and start with you guys completely destroyed the light goal in the last episode. And I cannot thank you guys so much for all the support on the first episode. Like I said, uh, this is just a test series. And um, I was just testing it out, see if people enjoyed it. And you guys look like you enjoyed the first episode, even though we only played like one game. Um, which in this episode, I'll try to play at least two games for you guys. But um, I don't know. I was just blown away by the support on the first episode. I didn't think TCGO was going to do that well. But I don't know. You guys just you guys came out and showed me that you guys want this series to continue. So I will continue this series. Uh, the like goal is still going to be 150. So let's see if we can reach 150 likes yet again, you guys. And today, as you guys can see, we're doing uh, a different deck. Um, I got this deck from EV Man 10. Uh, he hit me up on Twitter one day, and he was like. Yo, Jay, this deck is stupid, does like massive damage, and uh, he gave me the deck list, and I built it, and I made some modifications to it, because um, this deck used to run like one Quilava and two Wallys, but I found myself uh, going straight from Cyndaquil to Typhlosions, um, you know, very quickly, and you know, Quilava was just kind of a dead draw for me, so I took out the Quilava, um, but um, I took out the Quilava, I put in an, uh, another Skyla, or actually, no, I took out one Skyla, put in two energy recycles because this deck uses a lot of energy, which is why we have 30 energy in this deck. And then we have another N. I did, I used the Pokemon fan, uh, Pokemon fan club as well because it's really, really hard to get your basics out when you only have four basic Pokemon out of 60 cards. So uh, there's that. Ultra Balls for search, uh, versus Seekers just to get back, uh, you know, supporters from the uh, discard pile. Uh, Lysanders just you know force a switch so you can pop something on the bench and everything teammates uh, teammates is there just to, uh, get t two cards out of your deck so you can get yourself really anything you need and um, yeah but this deck has 30 energy in it but the thing is the deck runs uh, revolves around this Typhlosion here and using its first attack massive eruption uh, discard the top five cards of your deck this attack does 80 damage times the number of energy cards you discarded so <laughs> like it's it's ridiculous it's actually kind of ridiculous because if you discard if you discard three energy that's 240 that base that basically takes out pretty much any mega in the game i think i think unless there's a pokemon out there that has like 300 hp um if you discard three energy you're knocking out a lot of pokemon it, it's actually ridiculous um it's actually ridiculous because like i was able to do at least i was able to do no yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I was able to do 240, like, each turn, and that's ridiculous, and then sometimes I was able to do, like, 320, and nothing can take a hit from th that 320 damage, no one can take a hit from that, that's actually ridiculous, so, um, I don't know, this deck, is just, it's just a fun deck to run, it's just a really fun deck to run, it's not really meant to be super duper competitive or anything like that, but it's just, it's just a super fun deck, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and test out this deck here. Um, I actually made these modifications today because see, here's the original deck um, with the Colava in it, and here is the new one without the Colava because I, again, I figured that Colava was a dead draw. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and also try to explain uh, the game itself because I know a lot of people don't tend to play the TCGO. Uh, or TCG in general, so they don't really know what's going on when it comes to the game. So right now we got to do the standard old coin flip, and I'm still on half a monitor, and so it's gonna be kind of tough for me to figure things out. But I really don't want my opponent attacking, but I can't really set up first turn either way. But I don't want to go first though. I, I I dislike going first. But anyways, we have we Mulligan. That's great. <laughs> we mulligan, but that's that's the issue with this deck too. Is that you're gonna you're gonna mulligan a lot because you're trying you're trying to search for four basic Pokemon out of a total of sixty cards. Now, when I tested out this deck, I didn't mulligan at all, and I don't know. It was really it was really wild, but um, we're gonna we're gonna mulligan a few times. I'm pretty sure. Um, yep, we did it again. We did it again. But I guess they now know what I'm running. And we mulligan again, like that's that's just the, that's just the pro that's the problem with this deck. Like we pull two Typhlosions, that's really bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. But ah, uh, two rare candies and two Ultra Balls. But 
nothing. And oh my gosh, I could just fan club for. Yeah, see, this is. Yeah, this. this see, this is. It's not a good start. This is not a good start because they're gonna draw so many cards. Thank you. We finally got our Cyndaquil. Gosh. Okay, so now all I gotta do is just Skyla four and Ultra Ball, and then. Well, hang on. Do I want a Skyla for an Ultra Ball? I think I want a Skyla for an Ultra Ball. I think that I think that would be good. They're gonna they're gonna draw like crazy, but that's fine though. That's fine. But basically, if you go first, you cannot attack. You can't attack if you go first. Uh, but there are some Pokemon that can attack. Yeah, see, they, they just got a clean hand. Oh my gosh, they're running Zorog Break. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yep, see, for example, this Deoxys right here, Close Encounter, if you go first, you can use this attack on your first turn, draw two cards. That's actually a perfect example. Um, there are some Pokemon that can attack on the very first turn, um, but most Pokemon cannot, so, you know, there's that. They were, they were probably hoping that they got the Deoxys uh, in their active spot, but nope, so I guess, you know, rip the dream. But um, also right there, that was a item card or a Pokemon tool, and you can only have one tool card on a Pokemon at a time, unless the Pokemon has an ability that can have two tool cards attached to them, um, like you know an Ancient Trait or whatever. Like I think Ancient Trait Intake can do that. Um, so there's that, and they went in Level Ball for I think the Ghastly. You can get a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, and Skyla allows you to get any Trainer card out of your deck and put it into your hand. Uh, but you also only play one supporter card per turn, and since Skyla is a supporter, they can't play another supporter. And then, but they can play. You can play uh, as many trainers as you want, as long as they're not supporters. So, you know, there's that. But anyways, let's top deck into a fire energy. Uh, but we're gonna play our own Skyla here, and now I'm gonna search my deck for something uh, that I need. I would, pr I would go for fan club so I can get at least two more Cyndaquil so I can start building them up. Um, but the problem is though, is that, like, I want to go ahead and get my, actually, I kind of need to get my end because my hand is trash right now. My hand is really bad, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get an end because, like, my hand is super bad. It's super bad. I'm gonna attach an energy and just attack. Um, so I was able to do 10 damage because tackle only takes one energy. The little white star means you can put any energy on it in attack. And oh no, they're running Gengar. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. What does this Haunter do? When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve your Pokemon, you may leave both confused. Okay. They're probably gonna retreat though. Uh or you just discard my energy. Okay, well they can't play another supporter, so that's fine. And they're alright. I mean, you do that, bro. You do that. I'm gonna end because I need I need a new hand, and I got a rare candy, and now I just need. Oh my gosh! I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't know what to do in this situation. Probably just gonna end my turn. Like, we're confused, so even if we attack, we have to flip a coin. If we get heads, our attack goes through. If we get tails, I think we take damage. Um, but, I don't know. This is it's not looking good for us, just because... Oh, gosh. Here we go. And they're going to Zoroark, aren't they? No, they're going to Gengar. No, this Gengar is stupid. This Gengar is stupid. Creep show. If your opponent has, if your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, it's knocked out automatically. That's ridiculous. And it only takes two energy for that, and they're gonna go ahead and go into it. And then I think the first attack, Sinister Fog, actually No, it put oh it poisons us. Okay. Never mind. We're good. Okay, so we take 10 damage each turn. And I just top decked into a Typhlosion. That's awesome. That is actually kinda sick. That's awesome. Okay. I want to pop that Gengar back there. Cause that gives me two prizes. But I also need to pop this Gengar right here. Because this Gengar is a is a is a threat. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rare candy right now. Uh, rare candy, I can skip the evolution for I can skip the evolution 
for Kolaba and go immediately into Typhlosion because choose one of your basic Pokemon in play. If you have a stage 2 card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card on the basic Pokemon. So that's how we were able to skip that. And so now what I want to do, I want to Lysander, but I'm going to go ahead and just Massive Eruption, discard the top 5, and 240, and gone. Like, that is what this deck is supposed to do. Huh. <sighs> The only issue is is that like this is our only attacking Pokemon right now. We need to get another Cyndaquil built up. So what I need is see here we go. Oh here we go. Night attack. Oh no, they can do Dark Corridor. But see, I'm a Lysander. What I'm gonna do is I'm a Lysander and I'm gonna bring this thing in and freaking kill it. Cause like uh, it's poisoning me. I hate this. Okay. So now they're, they're probably going to switch into the Deoxys. Yep. Okay. This is not good. Alright. I need to get another Cyndaquil. Uh, I can't get another Cinda. This is bad. Uh, I'm going to Lysander this back in. And I'm going to hope and pray that Massive Eruption can take it out. That would be great. So let's see. Not enough. Oh. What? <laughs> 10 HP away. 10 HP away. Oh my gosh. We just needed 3 energy, but and I just discarded Cyndaquil too. And they just healed 60 HP. That's nice. See, I need to run I think I think what I need to do is I need to run Pokémon Center Lady. Because like once we get once there's damage on our uh Typhlosion and like we're status, we can't do anything. So I think they won. Yeah, they won. They got it. They got it. I, I might. I'm, I'm considering running some Pokemon Center ladies. So the only downfall to this deck right here is that like we're so we're so reliant on Typhlosion. That's the problem. Once Typhlosion like is beaten, we can't do anything about it, you know. And it's like it's so hard to get one Typhlosion built up. I think I think I might need more Search, but I don't know. Like I don't know if, if 30 Energy. I don't know if we need 30 energy in the deck, but I don't know. We'll see what happens, though. But they want me to go first. Okay. And, oh, here we go. See, I want those sleeves. I want those sleeves. I, I need to do the daily challenges because you can get those sleeves that way because those sleeves will be perfect for this deck. Like, bro. And also that coin that they have, too. But let's hope we don't mulligan again. Ah, sweet. We didn't. But our hand is not looking all that great. <laughs> we have... Four energy with a versus seeker that we can't use and another Cinda. Alright. That's good. That's actually kinda good. But they're running Finnegan, so it looks like they're running Delphox Break, which is a deck I actually really do want to build. I just need to open up some Fates Collide packs though, which I have like a stack of Fates Collide codes, and there are so many other codes I gotta put in uh, because you guys have been sending in codes uh, on Twitch and stuff. So I gotta put in, put in all of those codes and then I'll be able to uh, stream some pack openings on Twitch or whatever, but they trainers mail to look at the top four uh, cards of their deck and they can reveal a trainer and put it into their hand. I don't know what they revealed, so I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy commentating, but what does this do? Uh, flip a coin of head switch. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, so they're probably going to lose this. They're probably going to end up losing if they don't. Um, okay, there you go. They're not going to lose anymore. Oh, they was that a Sorosic? That was Sorosic and Blacksmith. Blacksmith is good. Blacksmith is good, but it's a supporter though. So they're probably gonna get us themselves either another Finnegan, another Finnegan. Because that's the thing they needed. They needed that Finnegan right there. Because if I was able to, that didn't. That just what? <laughs> okay. All right, you you do that. You do that. You do that. Cause I'm going to Skyla, and I want to Skyla for. I would Skyla for a rare candy, cause I could probably. I think I might Skyla for a rare candy, depending on how many Typhlosion. Are. Yeah, ty two. There's four Typhlosion in our deck, so we're good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for uh, I'm gonna do it for no I gotta get a Typhlosion in my hand. Hmm. What do I have? What do I have? Oh wait, I got wait. I have Versus Seeker. Okay, never mind. If I have Versus Seeker, I can just get the rare candy 
Yeah, I'm gonna get the rare candy, and then next turn, what I can do is, first of all, put this on this. Yeah, I could rare candy uh, next turn, because I'm gonna verse secret my Skyla back, get an Ultra Ball, discard two cards, get my Typhlosion, rare candy, and just start blowing everything away. There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. We're good. We're good. I seriously want these sleeves, dude. These sleeves are heat, bro. But for right now, though, I mean, we're looking we're looking good. This game is uh, this game is looking way better than our last game because we have two Cyndaquils. Both of them have energy. We can get a Typhlosion next turn, and we can do massive damage. And I mean, even though this is a Bryxen right here, like. It can only do a max of 30 damage, so we're good to go. And it already has 10 damage on it, so Ultra Ball. They're probably going to Ultra Ball for either a Del Fox or another Bryxen. Another Bryxen. That's not, that, wasn't, that was a good play. That was pretty decent. Now they have two Bryxen, but see, the thing is, though, is now they have only one card in their hand. So, like, someone in the last video, they uh, mentioned that if you use all of your cards in your hand, then it takes the pressure off your opponent because then um, it's like you're not you're not scared. It's like oh, this is all they have. This is all they can do. But see, they don't know what I have in my hand, so they're probably like, oh crap, this dude is about to like blow us away, which we're about to blow them away. But <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. But we uh, use our versus seeker. This is not a supporter, so we can still use our Skyla. And I'm going to get an Ultra Ball because now what I can do is I can Ultra Ball. And I'm going to Ultra Ball away these two energies because they're honestly, they're dead in our hand. And I'm going to get ourselves, we're going to get ourselves a Typhlosion. After that, we're going to Rare Candy and we're going to evolve this one into a Typhlosion. But now we can't, we can't really play anything else in our hand, but we can go ahead and Massive Eruption and we got two energies. That's all we needed. Boom. Honestly, we only needed one energy, but whatever. And we just pulled into another versus seeker. That's busted. Yeah, they're done. They're done. They're gonna. They're gonna forfeit. They're gonna forfeit. They can't win. They're gonna forfeit. They're gonna forfeit. You're. You're gonna forfeit. You have two cards in your hand. Unless you can throw. Unless you throw down a shaman, ex or something, you're forfeiting. They're going to forfeit. They can't stop me. Because they cannot stop me, bro. Like, I have an in. I can just end my hand away. Then again, I'm not going to end my hand away because then they'll get they'll draw cards too. Because what in does is you shuffle your uh, hand back into your deck. Uh, well, actually, both players shuffle their hands into their decks. And then um, they draw according to how many prize cards they have left. So I will be giving them a whole new hand. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to save this in and I'm just going... They're, they didn't forfeit. Okay. Well... Oh gosh, I'm about to get another Typhlosion to be honest. Let's get it. I'm about, I'm about to Skyla. I'm about to Versus Seeker for Skyla, and then Skyla for a rare candy, which is my last rare candy apparently in the deck, so that's fine. But we're just gonna go ahead and do this, do this, bop, and then all we need is one energy. Rip, rip. Oh my gosh, three to any. Okay. But basically, that's how the deck that's how the deck is supposed to work. You're supposed to just use this Typhlosion, and you're just supposed to deal massive damage each turn. You just get one Typhlosion out and just body everything. That's all you that's all you have to really do. That's all you really have to do. Whoa. Did we get something? I think we got something. Oh, we got more little coins. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But those are the two games though for the video you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed we lost one we won one um but you saw how the typhlosion deck works um it, it's a really good deck like it's good it's fun honestly i just played this deck just to have fun because it's like it's one of those things where it's like i don't i don't know if you can go into a tournament and do well with this deck unless you can draw like the most like awesome hand in the world um but this deck is definitely a fun deck to play around, uh, play with, whatever. Just the fact that Massive Eruption, you can do, honestly, you can do a total of like 400 plus damage. Like maybe, no, yeah, no, no, hang on. No, you can do 400. Yeah, you do 400 because 80, 80 times 5, that's 400. So uh, you can do a maximum of 400 damage. 
there is no Pokemon unless you have a Conkeldur that uh, there's a Conkeldur that gains HP uh, according to how many like energies it has on it or something like that. Like, excuse me, like unless that Conkeldur you're facing that Conkeldur, if it's even standard anymore, like nothing is taking a hit from this. Like even even if it resists it, nothing can take a hit from it if you can pull if you can discard five energy, which I mean in this deck is highly highly possible i mean we were able to discard four and do 320 damage so that's that it's absolutely ridiculous but i hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless if you guys did hit that like button down below to show your support let's see if we reach 150 likes again you guys and let me know down in the comment section below uh what decks uh do you want to see me play uh now that you've seen this deck are you going to try to play this deck honestly this deck is super easy to build uh, the Cyndaquils are super easy to get. Even the Typhlosion themselves uh, aren't all that difficult to get. Uh, I mean, it is a rare out of, I think, Breakthrough? Either Breakthrough or Breakpoint. I think Breakthrough. Um, like, it's, this Typhlosion is not even hard to get. It is a hollow, but it's not all that difficult to get, though. But um, I, again, I enjoyed this deck, and I hope you guys did, too. But I will see you guys next week for some more Pokemon TCGO. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.